the father of Marion, Indiana, Martin Boots. On the west lawn of the courthouse square sits an inconspicuous granite rock. The stone bears a plaque that acknowledges Martin Boots as the donor of the land that established Marion as the seat of Grant County, Indiana. Our city founder was a man of sturdy German stock, born in 1777 to immigrant parents in West Virginia. Confident that his future held great things for him, Martin Boots set out at the young age of 16 to seek his fortune. It was October 19, 1825, when Boots purchased 107 acres for just $1.25 each. History doesn't tell us whether Martin Boots was jovial about his land acquisition or if he was just anxious about bringing his wife and nine children into this rugged outpost. Martin Boots stopped at this location on the Mississinwa River in 1824. We don't know why they stopped here, but we do know that their journey here from Randolph County, Indiana, was slow and trying. The river was shallow and difficult to navigate. The banks were lined with ancient trees and dense underbrush. Over a thousand of the Miami tribe lived here at that time. It was a rough and alien land, even to the adventurous Martin Boots, and it is doubtful that he realized at that moment he became the father of Marion, Indiana. Could he have known when he built his corn mill along the creek that now bears his name that his endeavor would lay the foundation of industry for this community? Did he realize when he offered his log cabin as a schoolhouse that local children would someday attend Martin Boots School? When he became one of the charter members of the First United Methodist Church, did he know he was establishing a Christian culture that endures here to this day? He came and he stayed and he planted seeds of prosperity. The man's perseverance and industry became the very fiber of the city he established. And it is in his shadow that the city of Marion grew.